I'm Derek Walker, the pastor of the Oxford Bible Church. We've been taking a little journey through the Beatitudes of Jesus in Matthew chapter 5. And it's all about being blessed. Blessed. And that's what Beatitudes means, the blessed attitudes. God wants to bless us. That simply means his supernatural life working in our life. Let me just talk about the blessing of God. And uh, there are three levels of blessing. Number one, there is the blesser. That's God himself. He's the blesser. He is the blessed God. He is full of life. And he must be the number one thing in our life. And then flowing from the blesser is the blessing. The blessing is the life of God that flows into our heart. And f as we put the blesser first, as we look to the blesser, then the blessing can flow. And as we allow the blessing to flow, that creates blessings in our life. That's the manifestation of the blessing. We mustn't value the blessings most highly, but higher than the blessing is the blessing of God, the Spirit of God. And because that's our reality. And even above the blessing of God, we should honor the blesser. He must be more important to us than any of the blessings. If we all get that right, then we become candidates for God to really work in our life. And so in the Beatitudes, we saw Jesus say, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. That's the key attitude of looking to God. I don't have it in myself. I need you to bless me, Lord. Blessed are those who mourn, who are emotionally open to God, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, those who are submitted to God. Their will is submitted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. They will receive the wisdom and the power to rule and reign in life. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. God will fill you to the degree of your hunger and thirst for him. Blessed are the merciful, the generous, the generous hearted, the forgiving, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, who have allowed God to burn out the idols in their life so that their God is the number one thing. He f he's focused on God. God is the treasure of their life, more than the things of life. Blessed are the pure in heart, they will see God, and they'll see God work in their life. Blessed are the peacemakers, particularly those who share the gospel of peace for they shall be called sons of God. They are risen up in their maturity and now they are bringing people to God. They're representing God and they're telling them the good news of how much God loves them. And now we come to the final one, which is blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And this is really talking about the attitude of courage. In other words, these people, they share the gospel and they do what is right, even though it brings persecution upon them. And because of that, that is the attitude of courage. God wants you to be a courageous and, and to be willing, if necessary, to suffer for him. Have courage to do the right thing and the blessing of God will be yours eternally.